Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Long time no see. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a very long time. It's not even just vlogging, also on YouTube in general. But in the last two weeks, I've just haven't been feeling myself. I've been feeling very off. I don't know how to describe it. Like I was not depressed at all, but it was just like something didn't feel right, I guess. I don't know. Has anyone ever felt like that? And how do you deal with it? Because I can't really pinpoint exactly what it was, but I just haven't been feeling myself. It just wasn't a very comfortable feeling and obviously not like in a super positive way. So I just decided to take a little bit of a break. I honestly think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I've been traveling a lot. So if you've been following me on Instagram, you will know that I went to, I guess like the last time you would have seen this vlog would have been my Toronto vlog with my parents. But since then I've actually gone to Miami and I also went to Las Vegas. And although I love traveling, contrary to popular belief, I actually don't want to be traveling as much as I have in 2021. I didn't want to travel that much for 2022. And if you guys watch my goal setting video for this year, you will actually know that was my intention. My intention this year really was not to travel this often. I think that, you know, a lot of it had to do with the fact that a lot of opportunities came by. I was also, to be very, very honest with you guys, like I have very big FOMO. Whenever friends do ask me to travel, I do try to take up on the opportunity when I can. And especially because a lot of travel opportunities as of late and hopefully in the next little while have also been with other content creators so arguably a lot of it also has to do with work and we're like producing content and stuff like that so for that reason I've been accepting a lot of trips but I actually don't want to travel this often like I know this is such a first world problem and stuff and I'm so grateful for this job and I love it but what I really really want as you guys may have already seen in my goal setting video is I really want stability this year and I really want to stay a little bit more put. Stability also has a lot to do with just mindset. So I think that's what I'm really trying to work on in the next little while is just to have, I guess, like even if I'm traveling, even if I'm away to just mentally be more zen. So I'm trying to take up on more like yoga classes, especially the like calmer ones that really focuses on breath work. So things like that. But this is almost like a half year reflection is that I'm like a little bit disappointed in myself in the last half year because I feel like it was very misaligned to what my intention was for this year, even though I've been having a lot of fun. The other thing I wanted to mention, I guess I can kind of talk about it on here as well in case people want to know, is I recently got my second IUD. So if you guys don't know what IUD is, it's basically like a birth control device. So a lot of people take birth control pills. I have never done any other birth control except for IUD. The reason is because if you guys listened to my podcast, we actually had an episode on this, but I lost my virginity extremely, extremely extremely late. So by the time I lost my virginity, I swear it was like fourth year of university and I was in my stable relationship. Oh, sorry, besides condoms. In terms of birth control, obviously I have tried condoms, but um, I kind of meant like more like pills or some of the other devices out there. But anyway, back to the story. Basically when that happened, my boyfriend at the time and I, we were in a very serious relationship. And when I was looking into birth control at Western, which is the university I went to, they actually made me take like a seminar where you have to like, you know, learn about all the types of birth control. So it was literally the seminar. I'm gonna try the like, kind of like clean girl look today. I've never really tried it because I usually like a pretty heavy eyeshadow look. So I don't know if this is gonna be successful, which is why I'm not gonna run through this process. But if it looks good, let me know in the comments and I can do a tutorial, but I'm sort of just winging this right now. Anyway, back to the story. Um, basically when I got my IUD, or sorry, when I was trying to look at birth control, I went to the seminar at Western. They explained literally all types of birth control. There's so many, if you guys didn't know, it's not just about the pill. I think there's patches. There's also like a, like a something ring where you like put it in your body and stuff. There's just a lot of different types of birth control that is out there. And the reason why I was attracted to the IUD was because it was the most effective form of birth control, like it's like 99.99, like whatever, um, compared to 
the other ones especially i think for the pill it's actually if you look at the percentages it doesn't look that high but it scientifically it's quite a difference basically um that was the most effective and i think the other thing was because when i got this birth control i was a month away from leaving to go on exchange in Italy for six months. I knew that on the pill, you have to be extremely responsible for it to work effectively, that you need to take it at a certain time every single day. And I know myself, I know myself, and I just knew I could not be accountable for taking a pill at a certain time each day. Also fast forward, when I was on exchange, all the girls that I was on exchange with, they were doing like, you know that meme with like Julia Roberts and you're like, Everyone was trying to figure out the time difference and like when they should take the pill and it's like every single time you travel somewhere that has a different time zone they were literally doing the math so I knew that for convenience purposes and also just me knowing myself like I knew I wasn't going to take my birth control every single day I was like the IUD honestly it sounded painful but like it was the only thing that was that made sense to me the other thing also is that my best friend Teresa, who I share the podcast with, um, she told me it wasn't painful, so that was also very misleading, which is another reason why I got convinced into doing it. But basically, the IUD lasts about five years. It's like up your sur you in your uterus, basically. It's extremely painful because that area in your vagina, there, oh, sorry, I, sh I don't know if I should be saying this on YouTube, whatever. There's like another section that is like a pathway to your uterus. So it goes all the way up of all of those things, which is why the insertion is extremely uncomfortable. And because when you get the IUD, it is like a foreign object inside your body. A lot of the times, like your body is kind of rejecting it. So the pain that I can just explain to you of how it feels like is just, if you guys have ever had period cramps, it's that, but like 10 times worse. So that's what the insurgent feels like. And then that pain also could, depending on the person, last after that as well. So personally, the first time I got it done, it was so funny. I, I actually talked about this on TikTok. I was like in that serious relationship and I was doing the math. I think I was like 22. Yeah, I was 22. I was like five years, perfect. Like I'm gonna marry the person probably by 26 and probably by 27, 28, I'm gonna have a kid. So it's like the perfect time to take it out. And then fast forward, as you guys know, I am as single as ever. The person was like even asking me, they're like, are you sexually active? And I'm like, no. And I'm kind of thinking in my head, I'm like, yeah, you know what? You're right. Like, why am I doing this right now? Why am I going through all the pain right now? And I'm not even sexually active, but whatever. I was just like, it expired now. So I had to go take it out. And then it just made sense that while you're down there to just put another one in instead of me having to come back again, because even taking it out that one second when they pull it out, that still really hurt, okay? That was not pleasant. Whatever, I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it done all at once despite like my life circumstance right now and the fact that I'm not even seeing anybody, but I got it inserted again right before, like maybe a week and a half before Las Vegas for EDC and that was the worst decision because the entire time I was at EDC, I was having the worst cramps to the point that the other day, just a few days ago, I went to the hospital. Oh wait, just a few days ago, yesterday. I went to the hospital to get checked to see if everything is still okay. And I arguably now need to get a ultrasound just to make sure that it is in place because I feel like the cramps that I've been getting in the last few weeks every single night just has not been normal and it only happens at night for some reason. So that's kind of why I decided to go to the hospital and get checked up. But anyway, all of that combined, I feel like maybe that's another reason why I've been feeling very off as of recent because the last few weeks, in addition to all the exhaustion from traveling, I feel like maybe the new IUD was giving me like hormonal imbalances. I wanted to take this time to come on YouTube to talk about like how I've been feeling because I don't want my social media to ever be misleading ever. And I feel like because if on Instagram you think I am just living large and having a great time, I'm really not. Or like I'm not always, you know? And like I think in the behind the scenes, I've been very uncomfortable for the last few weeks. So um, that's pretty much my life update. There hasn't really been other things like going on. Oh, 
I guess the other life update is that I re-downloaded dating apps for the summer because if you guys remember or listen to the podcast, basically after my breakup, I think a few months later, I downloaded dating apps for fun as prescribed by my therapist. If you guys watch that vlog, you'll remember. Just to kind of like, you know, figure out what I want in dating and stuff. And then after I figured it out, I was just like, hey, I don't really need this anymore. So I actually stopped dating for like a year. Not that my life became boring, but I feel like my life for you guys almost became boring because on the podcast, I was like, like, what do I talk about? And there's like no more funny date stories anymore. And even to friends, like there's like less stories to tell because I'm not dating. I also was dating during the worst time ever because I was dating when it was literally lockdown in Ontario. And I remember this one date, it was in November. It had to be an outdoor walking date because literally everything was shut down. So I was freezing and we were both freezing, but we wanted to keep talking. So we ended up walking around a grocery store because that was the only thing that was open you know like everyone's like Lisa go on dates get wined and dined well did I get wined and dined absolutely not I didn't get wined and dined once actually no no no, that's a lie I think I got wined and dined when I was in Vancouver and I went on a few dates in Vancouver but otherwise when I was here in Ontario I did not do what they were saying like take advantage of you know being single or like whatever i did not so now i feel like i was like maybe this is my time to shine and take advantage of dating now that everything is open again spoiler i don't know what's gotten into me i was so excited about dating a year ago but now when i'm on the dating app i, I literally open it for three seconds and i'm like i can't do this i literally cannot do this and when i talk to people i'm just like i'm i can't do this like i just i think i'm becoming like, I, I don't think I have an interest in people. Like, I actually, when I meet people, I, I don't have an interest. I don't know. Has this ever happened to anyone? Am I gonna die alone? Am I gonna be a cat lady? I don't know. I actually am kind of down. But yeah, so I got dating apps, but that was really the life update because I'm not really doing anything with it. And that's pretty much it. Sorry. Oh my God, this is starting to not be a clean girl look. Oh, uh, maybe. I realized I fucked up because I used eyeliner. I should have just continued using my eyeshadow. But anyway, I don't know. I'm just very like... I just don't really care. I think that all I want to do this summer is A, I'm going to try my best to stay in Canada. I really want to have a lot of Canadian content. And also because I feel like the one and only time, good time, to be in Canada is in the summer. So I really want to take advantage of this and not go out of the country unless if it's for work. But then otherwise, because I do have a work trip coming up in New York. But otherwise, I want to stay here as much as I can and have content for you guys for all of Toronto, Canada, etc. The thing that I've also started taking up on is I started, or actually, I don't know how regular this is gonna be, but I played volleyball yesterday with Sarah's boyfriend and his friends. Sarah was also there. She actually helped me take off all of my bracelets to play volleyball. As you can see, for once in my life, I don't have a single ring on, okay? I, I never take off my rings unless if it was like to do weight training. The chain ring, I usually leave on, but for volleyball, I just, I didn't want to risk anything, so I took everything off, and I feel very off right now, but whatever. But yeah, essentially, I started playing volleyball again, and I had so much fun yesterday that I really hope that this is going to be a regular thing again because I need a hobby and I talked about this on the podcast I feel like a toxic trait of mine is I have this tendency to want to make everything every hobby of mine into a business and I think I I'm ready to start just having some real hobbies and my hobbies are gonna be volleyball spike ball and that's gonna be my entire focus of this summer I want to be extremely active I want to have a very healthy lifestyle this summer actually this clean girl look is starting to look pretty okay. I feel like clean girl look also is very different for mono slash hooded eyelids because you can't just draw half an eyeliner with your eyeshadow and call it a day. I'm sorry, like you can't. So I maybe will do a tutorial of this on TikTok. But yeah, I'm very excited to show you guys what I'm up to this week. I wanted to show you guys volleyball, but because I was meeting all those people for the first time, I didn't want to show up gun blazing with my camera. So I didn't do that. But the next time I go to volleyball, I will definitely show you guys and take you guys with me. Okay, part of the clean girl look, everyone also uses the 
Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh, maybe I did too much. But yeah, so today what's gonna happen, and I'll take you guys with me. I'll show you kind of, well, not a typical work day, but I'm trying to make this a typical work day. If you guys didn't know, Liz started working with me on my brand because if you guys also didn't know, Liz just successfully beat cancer. Liz is my best friend. She's been my best friend and also my roommate at Western. I actually want to talk about how we met maybe another episode because it's very much fate, but she just beat cancer. So I'm sorry. I don't know what you guys are up to, but I'm sorry. She tops everyone. Like, unless if you beat cancer, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like nothing I do can measure up to that, you know? Basically, she is in remission right now. So she's just kind of like bored, whatever. She's helping me out with my brand. Um, we're also kind of like working together. Anyway, so she's working with me. So I'm going over to her house We're gonna do some work together and we're gonna run some errands and I feel like this week what you have to look forward to this week is I am Going to a PR event tomorrow with benefit if you guys also didn't see this on Instagram Please go check it out because this was unreal for me as you know since you guys Maybe watch my YouTube. I don't know. I have been a huge benefit fan from day one. I share all of their brow products. I actually even used it today. I share all of their stuff online for so many years and I actually got to work with them on a Asian heritage video. It's posted on their channel on Instagram. Please check it out. We worked very hard on this and it was just such a like pinch me moment. So make sure you check that out. Yeah, that's pretty much what you guys have to look forward to this week. That's pretty much it, you guys. I will take you guys along for the rest of the vlog. Okay, guys, we are at Liz's house. This is how long I have not vlogged for, okay, because I honestly forgot to vlog when we were outside, but we basically just went to Panera Bread to grab some salads, and Liz also made chicken that I'm very excited for. Liz is an amazing cook, and I was having the biggest craving for almond croissants, but there were no almond croissants. I even asked on Instagram and everyone's suggestions. First of all, they came really late, but also like by the time they came in, every place was closed. I'm drinking this to wake up. Just a classic milk tea. Anyway, whatever, when we went to Panera, there's something called a bear claw. I've never had a bear claw in my entire life, but this one's almond flavored. So I will be doing a taste test in front of you guys in a bit. But for now, let's eat these salads, shall we? Look at what Liz made me. She's trying to plump me up. This looks delicious. Every time I come here, I just feel very spoiled. Mm. Oh my God, this is why I'm single. I need to stop doing eating vlogs. Okay, we got too distracted with other things, but we just remembered the almond bear claw. Also, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> hi. We had to call Michelle to ask about some hi. almond croissant questions, which did not turn up. <laughs> I even videoed in a local Mississauga resident, ex-resident and resident. <laughs> okay, okay, Liz, we're supposed to try this together. Okay. We've got a lot going on right now. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. I was just want a piece. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this piece. This big ass piece. Okay, ready? Cheers. 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 <laughs> that was very gross. <laughs> oh my god, I have nothing. I guess I'll Why did I do it? I'm sorry. Honestly, better than I expected. Same. It's actually this seems not as um fatty. Mm-hmm. As a croissant, right? Mm-hmm. But there's that icing sugar that makes it sweeter. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, not bad. Mm-hmm. I think I would prefer it without the icing sugar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But lots of almond. Mm-hmm. And almond filling. Almond shavings. Mm. <laughs> almond icing. Oh, oops. Hi guys, welcome to another day. Today I am going to a benefit event, which is why I am super dressed up today. This entire outfit is from Zara, by the way. I'm gonna post on TikTok, but these pants are phenomenal. They really show off my already very tiny bum, so I highly suggest this. Benefit was nice enough to cover our Uber rides, so we are going to the event. Ooh, yay. Okay, this is so pretty. Ooh. So cute! Look at 
at this bubble machine. Hello guys, welcome to another day. <laughs> Why am I so awkward? Today is Friday and basically I had just finished shooting with, sorry, I'm trying to fix my bra. I just finished shooting with a photographer. She came from Winnipeg. She had reached out and wanted to do some professional shoots together. So that was really fun. Now I'm actually gonna eat and go to my friend's going away party. So we're gonna go set up. It's Adrian. if you guys remember Adrienne. Um, she is originally from Vancouver. She's lived here pretty much since school, lived in Western and then came here and lived in Toronto and now she's moving back. We're throwing her a goodbye party. But since, you know, it's, it is a goodbye party, I am gonna have to eat beforehand. And did you guys know, I just went to Costco. Did you guys know that Costco sells sushi? I didn't know. And I ended up buying the sushi and it's actually not bad. It's honestly not too bad. I, I quite like it. So just a little PSA out there, especially when Ontario sushi honestly sucks. So this is not a bad alternative. It's actually not too bad. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay guys, I'm finally at Margo's and this is my first time seeing her house oh, and it's so pretty. But right now I'm currently blowing balloons for the party. This is the most lit type of balloon I've ever seen in my entire life. But anyway, let me give you a little tour of the living room. So this is what the living room no, looks to... like. Oh, no, this no. is the poster for Adrian. And yeah, we're here first just to set up a little bit. Ooh. Oh, this is so pretty. Yay, vibes, look at this. We're finally here! Oh my god! There's even some horsies! Oh my god! Welcome drinks! Again, cheers! First drink of the day! Oh my god, this is so good! Oh, sorry. Look at this horsey! It is just so thrilling to see everybody here in their summer outfits. It feels like we're in the south of France. Everyone's ready to have a good time. We absolutely love this property. We have fallen deeply in love with this farm and we think that you'll feel that there's something special here too. Oh, yeah. look at this little house. It's so cute. It's bigger than all of our houses put together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My 600 square feet apartment. Oh, wait, no, it's really huge. Yeah, it's like Do you long. see them? <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at these umbrellas! Thank you so much! Oh, what a vibe! Okay, look at Naomi, everyone. She's so pretty right now. Oh my god. Oh, what a vibe! We are now entering the lavender farm. Okay, guys, if you are. In Ontario, this is definitely the lavender farm to be at. This is so bougie. This is so nice. It is beautiful. It's also huge. Probably one of the biggest lavender farms I've ever been on. It's Chloe, everyone. <laughs> Obviously, energy seems familiar. <laughs> Look, more horsies. Look at the drool. Okay, wait, Chloe's getting in there. <laughs> This commentary. Squad's back. Well, you butt heads with it. You have to go for the other side. No, 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 don't worry. He, he just like. Okay, I am terrible. Go get a carrot and then. Here, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go, there you go. Nice. <laughs> Third time's the charm. We've also got the small horsies. Oh my god, so cute. We are about to go for lunch. Look at these Instagrammable spots. They're so cute. At lunch, say hi everyone. Hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, here you go. Here, here. I'm gonna do an extra zoom. Oh, here it is. Okay, we are about to eat our picnic. Also, it is International Picnic 
day. It's Saturday. Okay, wait. Okay. I got my ring in the car. Oh my god. We're all coffee and Chloe. We're well, putting what our else is lavender, lavender into oh, our drink. Wow. We're just not very Damn. original. Expensive. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm here, guys. Remember when you told me <laughs> I couldn't We're like, sit we're like, let's, let's make this. <laughs> cheers, babies. Cheers. Wait, Wait cheers on the side. Yeah, this is not the big cheers. 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 Are we cheersing the camera? Like a mouthful of bread. everybody today we are on our way to a brow appointment with benefit so if you guys remember i was just at a one second we are on our way to a benefit brow appointment i'm gonna go get my brows laminated so i'm going to also meet the benefit team again it's super exciting i've been working with them for quite a bit this month and yeah i'm really excited to show you guys yay we're here, say Yay. hi. This is the Benefit Cosmetics Come office. I'm so excited, this is so pretty. Oh my god, hi, hi. Oh my god, the, look at this office. Wow, if I worked here, I would never quit. This is so beautiful. This is so cute. <gasps> I'm obsessed, wow. Just imagine this, it's like lunchtime. Okay, just do my brows real quick. <laughs> Five minutes. <Yeah. laughs> hey Siri, set a timer for eight minutes. Did she say like, uh -huh. oh, 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 Yeah. I was like, like, Mary, like, mine like, doesn't see that. <laughs> Okay, so I am done my eyebrows. If you guys can see, this is what the eyebrows look like. It is so nice. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Anyway, if you guys also want a brow lamination appointment, you guys can go to Sephora to do a lamination. It's so good. It lasts up to four to six weeks. I'm so excited. These look amazing. But now, now that our brow appointment is done, I was telling everyone I got onto Raya this morning. So now we're going to be um, doing a little PowerPoint with what this app looks like, because apparently it's like super exclusive. So we're gonna go put it on the screen and share it with everybody. Hello everyone, welcome to another day in the vlog. As you can see, we have Sarah here again. Literally since Mexico, you've been in every single vlog. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this girl also has my house key, so this is why she's here this often. <gasps> my headscarf! This is what happens. This is what happens when she touches her hair like every five seconds. Anyway, we are getting ready to go to a picnic. I am Sarah's plus one. Apparently, I don't believe this. Apparently, Katy Perry is supposed to be there. Emphasis on I don't believe that she is, but who knows? It's with Skip the Dishes, so you it's never know. In honor of pride. Yes. Hold we on. Love a good pride moment. I am doing this so lazily because I just cannot go through the act of tying it again. So I'm just gonna go. Oh, and... that's actually so much cuter. Like this? Yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you guys there. We're gonna bring you with us. Yeah, I said that right. Okay, bye. Queen, we're going to announce our Skip the Dishes. Cheers. Mike and this go down. We also got Craig's cookies. Fit into Chloe's car, and this girl is like, I'm tiny, so I got it. Oh, you're sitting in the back, thank God. <laughs> yes. Hi guys, welcome back to another day. I think after this weekend, I'm going to be ending the vlog here and then basically I should put on some lipstick. Do you guys remember? And of course you remember, I think it was at the start of this vlog, I think, whatever. 
If you guys remember me saying that I haven't been like feeling very good about myself or feeling very well, I met up with my friend Tabby yesterday and then she was telling me how it's been like really, really bad Mercury retrograde. I know a lot of people are like, you were that person. Honestly, it's like, it wasn't just me. I feel like everyone was feeling it. Even Instagram was feeling it. I think we were all watching the same people's stories like over and over again. It's like, hello, what is happening? I am finally feeling a little bit better. A little only though. I don't know what it is. It feels like something's off. Like that's the only way I can describe it. Like I'm not physically ill. I'm not going through depression or anxiety. It's just like, Something is off. Anyway, today I am finally going to pick up my car. I don't think I vlogged this part, but basically my car um, had some software issues. Like I kept getting these notifications saying that the car might not restart. And then at one point it actually didn't restart and people were waiting for me and it was so embarrassing. So I finally decided to take it to service. I feel like it's like the electric car version of like your check engine light is on. Anyway, I basically didn't have a car for like the whole week. And honestly, it was such a blessing because because instead, Tesla gave me $130 a day of Uber credits, use it or lose it. So I've just been taking all the Ubers and it's been great because like there's been some events I've been going to where I can't drive either because I'm drinking or because I don't know, I just like when I went to the lavender farm, like we got a shuttle. So there was no reason for me to drive. I like Uber to the shuttle pickup point and then they drove us to the lavender farm. Anyway, I realized I'm just like, wait, I would so much rather keep the Uber credits so you can keep my car as long as possible. But unfortunately, um, my Uber credits expire today and I have to go pick up the car today. So there's that. I've also been Ubering because like I don't go out every day. When I didn't use my Uber credits, I've been Ubering my concierge home because a lot of these women work like two jobs. They live so far from downtown. So I've just like, been ubering them home or to their second job like whatever but yeah like i honestly i'm gonna miss these 130 dollars ubers like they're they're just so clutch anyway today's exciting things are the following the first thing is i'm actually <laughs> going on a date for the first time in like a year. Actually, that's why I went on a date in San Diego. If you guys listen to the podcast, I actually talked about this date. I actually like don't count that as a date because I knew it was a throwaway date because there was like, we knew going into the date, like nothing was gonna happen because I'm not from San Diego. So like whatever, not saying that anything's gonna happen with whatever. I just, I actually don't know. Like I, you guys know I paused dating for so long. I finally was like, let's go meet people. It is summer. It is whatever. After going on the dating apps, I absolutely was like, I'm done. Like I'm over this. Like I'm, I don't, I don't even want to do this anymore. Like I don't even want to meet people, honestly. So I actually stopped, but then this guy, like he, he just like always checks up on me. And then eventually I'm just like, all right. So like, honestly, persistence is key because like even the last boyfriend I had I only dated him because this guy was persistent because I feel like my natural state is like uninterested I genuinely don't really care to have a boyfriend like whatever so I will fall off very fast <laughs> like if you are not persistent like I'm just generally not interested so like I don't know you're just I don't know so I think like the only reason Okay, not the only reason. He seems like a great guy. I think the only reason it has been able to make this far because I ghost people for absolutely no reason. I just like, the conversation just for me falls off. I'm just like, I'm done. Like, I don't know. I have better things to do, like whatever. So like, I think persistence is key here for sure. Oh, second of all, I got on the dating app Raya just like two days ago. So just when I was about to give up, that app literally accepted me. If you guys didn't know, Raya is like a dating app where you have to like, hand in an application. I'm like, it's not that serious guys, but whatever. So I don't know, maybe I'll try that out for a little bit, but I'm already disinterested again. So I don't know, we'll see. I will update you guys about the date probably on the podcast. And speaking of the podcast, I don't know how to formally announce this without people like going into shock, but so many of you have been enjoying the solo episodes. Teresa's work schedule has been insane. She's been nonstop traveling and we kind of like reevaluated our goals. If you guys didn't know, I also got signed with a talent manager like a week ago. I know it, it's, it's getting serious guys. So that being said, we actually decided that because you guys actually have been really liking the solo episodes with her busy schedule and traveling and stuff, I'm going to be doing the podcast alone from now on. It's really scary, kind of intimidating. Obviously, I'm going to miss having Teresa, but I think this is going to be like the best 
kind of decision. This is my first time announcing it publicly. It's on the vlogs. I feel like only the dedicated ones will know first. So I'm still trying to figure out, you know, if I want to keep like sisters you've never had or come up with a different name on its own. I feel like I kind of like sisters you've never had because I was one who came up with a name, by the way. Like, I, I don't know if you guys knew that. And I feel like with this opportunity, stop. With this opportunity, I could invite guest speakers and then they could be like our sisters for the day, you know? So I don't know. Can you guys let me know in the comments what you think about this? Because it's like pretty nerve wracking for me and I don't know like what to do. So um, any advice would be helpful. But yeah, anyway, with that being said, I am gonna go grocery shopping, go pick up my car and then I have a date. And then tonight I'm gonna have dinner with some girls I'm going to Miami with next week. So you guys will meet them and I will vlog hopefully that Miami trip, but I will see you guys in the next activity. Thank you.